Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share this video, especially if you love MMA as much as I do. Um, I've technically already done at least two prediction videos on this fight, but I'll do it again because I had a good uh, viewer on my channel. I think he subscribed, maybe not. He should if he hasn't. Um, on this fight. So, since he wanted me to do it, you know, I talk about MMA all the time. Why not do it again? And I'm not changing my prediction. I have Dustin Poirier beating Justin Gage, and I'll tell you why. Uh, when I've seen both of them fight, both of them win fights and lose fights, I'm not looking at how they've lost. Like I'm, I'm looking at how they lost, but I look at who they've lost to and how they. I'm looking at more who how they've beaten their people, their opponents. For example, when you look at Gagey, He's willing to take you to distance if he needs to, but he's such an exciting striker. He's a knockout artist, and he, it's not that he doesn't knock you out one punch. He can. But he just wears you out. His punches look like hand grenades. Just boom, 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 boom. His fighting style makes him dangerous. Yes, but Poirier is also dangerous because here's the difference. He can knock you out if he wants to. If he wants to take you to distance, he will. If he wants to submit you, he will. So with that being said, and because I don't look at the first fight as far as he beat him already, even if, if uh, Gagey had won that first fight, I still wouldn't be picking him in this fight because of the way Poirier wins fights versus how Gage and how Gagey loses fights. He's been finished in all of his losses. His most two recent losses, I know they were uh, Habib and they were Charles Oliveira, but look at how he lost those fights. Just like Poirier lost those fights. But because Gagey has yet to show me anything in terms of submitting somebody or being able to avoid submissions... Here's how I see this fight playing out. This fight is not going five rounds, first of all. It might not even go three. Very unlikely it goes two rounds. I think uh, Gagey is going to be looking to take off Poirier's head. He's going to hurt him really badly and early in this fight. Poirier is going to end up taking him down or tripping him up and taking him down, getting on top of him, punching him in the face. And then since Gagey, he's been so vulnerable to rear naked chokes. I think uh, Poirier will be on top and will start gaining momentum with ground and pound. And you'll see Gagey kind of turn his back or turn away as he's trying to defend. And that will be just enough to where uh, Poirier sees his neck or sees he's exposed. He's going to get a hold of his back and put him in a rear naked choke and put him away. Uh, something that, similar to how Poirier, excuse me, how Gagey lost his fight to Oliveira. That's how I see that fight happen. I think um, Gagey's going to have momentum early. He's going to be throwing some leg kicks. Poirier's going to throw some shots back. And then Gagey's going to catch him with a big punch or a big kick and rock his world and try to follow it up. Be too aggressive, super aggressive to the point where it's almost reckless. And Poirier somehow survives that onslaught and takes him down. Full mount, ground and pound, rear naked choke, end the story. So if not late first round, definitely the early second round. That's when I see this fight going, going, uh, going. So that's how I see this fight happening. Now, uh, Gagey can beat him. Obviously, Poirier has been knocked out before, but lately he's just been so much better as a fighter. Uh, knockouts, submissions, decisions. He can beat you in any way possible. And he's proven that. And he's had so much experience in the octagon. He's been in there since 2011, 2012. Um, well, that's just my opinion. I, again, I've seen too many ways for Poirier to win fights. And for Gagey, he has lost fights in the same manner. And for Poirier, he has submitted guys. So that's, that's my opinion on that.